All right, now intro today. AI tools for content creators. And I'm gonna start strong with Biggle, a great AI that can animate images based on a video. It may sound arbitrary, but the tool is much more capable than you think. Because it doesn't just animate a still image given it movements, it takes a still image and turns that into a 3D model, adds textures, does all the rigging, and only then animates it. This way you can just take one image in a video and mix them together into a video of a person from that image doing the movements. Bigel also has a great understanding of prompts and physics, allowing users to animate images based on a simple text prompt. Now we need to look for reference video, one image and one prompt will be more than enough. The prompting system is so good that it lets you write separate prompts for the character and for his movements. This way, each generated video can have the same character in it. Bigel can also take a photo and change it based on your prompt and animate it afterwards. This is definitely a very powerful tool that not only combines the high quality of generate videos, but also high precision of sticking to the prompt. And by the way, if you want to check out the movements you can pull off, the website has a special library with over nine pages of already generate videos. What's also interesting is that for each video, you can switch a toggle and see the original one that was used to capture movements. If you are a creator like me, you know how big of an impact a good screen recorder can have. But just recording the screen isn't the most difficult part. The editing is. I can spend five minutes recording my screen and then another 20 on editing. Focusy fixes that. Focusy not only records your screen, audio, and the webcam feed to separate tracks, it also adds tons of effects to it. Zoom in, zoom out, animated cursors, and so on. But the real power of it comes from AI that edits the video for you. It automatically finds the moments when to zoom in or out, when to highlight something on the screen, and what to show. Focusy also lets you customize the final video and its style. If you want, you can edit it yourself or leave it the way AI suggests. Focusy even can adjust the video to different formats, freeing you from that hurdle of re-editing everything from scratch when you try to repurpose a 16x9 video for shorts. I think this could become a very useful tool for everyone who creates tutorials, explanation guides, and other educational materials. The next tool is Go Enhance, and it can turn a regular video into an animated masterpiece. Masterpiece by AI standards, of course. I believe that each AI tool has to solve some kind of a problem, and when it comes to creating content, many people tend to struggle with making their videos look interesting. Using tools like Go Enhance, in my opinion, is the simplest way to add a pinch of creativity to your videos. Using this tool is super simple. You just upload a video that weighs less than 30 megabytes, pick a style, duration, and click generate. There are many styles to choose from, from cute anime to origami, pop art, or even Pixar style. I feel like Go Enhance is undeservingly ignored because look at these videos. What really sets Go Enhance apart is the consistency of the generated videos. Typically, AI will just generate something out of the blue, only roughly based on the original file. Here, everything stays in its place. The proportions, the lighting, the colors, the framing, everything stays true to the original. But it's not just a filter put on top of it. Go Enhance takes a video and redraws it from scratch with incredible accuracy. Even high-speed movements retain their fluidity and consistency, like in this video with Dancing Woman. I want to circle back to that point I made about editing videos being more time-consuming than any other thing. Well, we've already seen AI video editors before, but Vocut looks different. With Vocut, you can just upload a video and AI will do most of the job for you. For example, we'll generate automatic subtitles with 98% accuracy while allowing you to edit the text yourself. Self. But what's most impressive to me is its ability to use ChatGPT for cutting the video. Apparently, it transcribes the whole video and then sends the text to ChatGPT, which decides which parts aren't necessary, and then it just cuts them out. Another big feature of Vocut is cutting out pauses. The AI finds the parts of the video where the narration isn't perfect, where there are pauses or homes, and just deletes all that, somehow merging the video pieces into one smooth video. Sure, it's just a rough cut and you still have to find B-rolls, add transitions, effects, music, but all of these steps take away less time than creating that initial rough cut. I think Vocut is a great tool for all button creators out there, especially ones trying to pump out as many videos as possible without spending too much time on editing. Next up, Animatable AI. This tool is very similar to Go Enhance, but it's much stronger stylistically. Animatable exaggerates the source material, takes it to the extreme, makes it super duper stylized. Some people might like that, some don't, but I definitely like the stylistic choices it makes. How it takes a board stock footage 
and turns it into something interesting and appealing. Schwartz struggles with minor things and details, especially when multiple objects interact with each other. But when it comes to preserving the overall architecture of the shot, it produces some amazing results. There's this video of a woman in a restaurant and just look at how accurate the shape of the hair is, how similar the image is in terms of framing and objects in the shot. Again, we can clearly see a noticeable stylization and certain parts of the original video were changed, like the hair color or the dress, but you can use it to your advantage. This extreme stylization makes it possible to use footage more liberally without worrying about a person in the shot, lighting, and all that. It's kind of like an equalizer. Everything you upload into this AI obtains a certain look and style, and this makes it really easy to work with generate videos. All of the video editors I showed you so far were using real photos or videos to generate stuff, but Clipfly AI takes it to the extreme. It's a full-fledged video generator and editor that generates good-looking videos from a simple text prompt. Yeah, we've seen that before, but it not only generates any type of video in a variety of styles, it also lets you select multiple generated videos and turn them into a movie. Even adds sound effects all by itself. Basically, the only thing you do yourself is add in the music that you like. Everything else is done by Clipfly. With just a pinch of creativity and a great idea, you can create some pretty amazing stories, all with fascinating visuals. I know it all looks obviously AI generated, but if you don't have a goal of fooling anybody, it works just fine. I do really like the sample videos that developers showcase on the website. They all have some kind of story to them, a consistent style and nice voice and subtitles. I think if you were to write your own story and record a voice over yourself, it would be enough to be considered original content, for example, on YouTube and start earning money from these videos. And even if we ignore the financial part of things, this is just a very cool way to tell stories. Remember Sora? Yeah, that AI model from OpenAI that generated some of the most amazing videos. Well, what if I tell you that you can already try it? Well, not exactly the Sora you're thinking about, but Sora Video AI. I know the developers got me with this one tricked me, but that doesn't matter because it does all the same things as the original one. It generates videos based on text prompts and does a pretty good job at this. From just looking at these videos, I can see a few things that make this tool worth checking out. Everything in the frame moves and changes according to the camera movements. Typically, AI creates a still frame and animates parts of it, which can look wonky. This one animates both the foreground and the background, and it also adds cool effects like the depth of field. I mean, sure, all the artifacts that we've come to expect from AI are still present here, but until the real Sora comes out, this is the best we can get. I think every content creator out there can appreciate the creative freedom this tool can give. It frees you from the limitations of the stock footage and lets you create something of your own, fully tailored for your video. But okay, there's more to AI for content creators than video generators. I make my videos in English, but it would have been nice to spread the word and also make videos, for example, in German, French, or Chinese. But I don't know these languages and I don't have time to learn them. If you find yourself in a similar situation, then you should definitely check out HeyGen. HeyGen is by far the best AI tool for translating videos while preserving the voice. HeyGen basically clones your voice and then readjusts the lip movement to fit the words being said. This is is some wooden magic right there, I'm telling you. What's even more impressive is that the reconstructed lips perfectly blend with the original face. You don't get that uncanny valley effect, so typical for AI face swapping tools. This high quality of both audio and video, let me just take a roll straight from the editing program, translate them, and put them back, getting a totally new video. All of it is possible thanks to the incredible capability of HeyGen to perfectly time the translation to the original length of the phrase. Some of you watching this video can say that I'm choosing way too loud words this time, but I think that just shows how impressive HeyGen is. I know I've said a lot about video generators, but you have to see this one. Magic Animate Playground takes a photo and extrapolates movements onto it. But it's not your typical animation. It may seem that Magic Animate acts like Biggle and turns a person from the photo into some sort of a 3D model that later gets rigged and animated, but if you look closely, you start noticing that it works in a totally different way. It doesn't use any rigging, it takes a video 
and creates a depth map of it. Separates the person from the background and analyzes the movement that way. This lets it be more flexible in terms of movements it can create and gives it more freedom. For example, I especially love this example of a man dancing like a woman. It's just <laughs> so fun. But what's most impressive about magic anime is the consistency of the generated movement. When we talked about the Vigil, it was quite easy to notice that it was the 3D model getting animated. But Magic Anime looks almost flawless. It does a great job at working with not only people's movements, but also with fabrics, hands, and especially faces. I don't think we are at the point where we can call some AI video generators definitely the best or definitely the worst. When it comes to AI, it's all about having as many options as possible. And that's why I showed you so many video generators today. Will there be more? Watch till the end to find out. When creating a video, I often struggle with finding the right soundtrack for it, and I'm sure I'm not the only one with such a problem. Luckily, there is always an AI tool that can help me out. Suno is definitely one of the best music generators I've ever tried. All you need to do to generate a song is just briefly describe it and press one button. AI will not only write the lyrics for the song, but also record the voice, come up with a melody, and then merge it all together into one great track. And I'm gonna lie to myself if I say that I'm not impressed because the tracks it creates are really something out of this world, definitely out of the world of AI. Cruising down the boulevard, neon lights burn bright, gangsta leaves sliding in the neon streets. We run this town, bringing heat to the sound, gangsta. They are so good that if played on the radio, no one would suspect a thing. Sure, when you're listening to these tracks in good headphones, you can hear that it's all AI generated, but your average Joe wouldn't suspect a thing. If I want, I can write my own lyrics and paste it into Suno, pick a specific music style, and generate a fully custom music track. I just love how simple it all is, how the AI doesn't limit me with anything and gives a total creative freedom with the maximum level of user friendliness. If you don't want to generate your own music, you can always use someone else's song in your videos. But as we already decided, having someone sing in the background of your videos isn't exactly the best way to do things. But AI lets you easily extract vocals from any song. And LaLaL AI is definitely the best option I've tried in a while. First, it doesn't just separate vocals from instrumentals, it also lets you separate various instruments. For example, if I hear a cool track with nice drum work, I can extract drums from this song. The same can be done with bass, guitars, piano, strings, and even wind for some reason. Developers claim to use a unique model developed just for this tool, and let me tell you, it totally pays off. The quality of separation is so high that if I heard the vocals separately without knowing that they were extracted from a complete song, I would have said that it's a studio recording. LaLaL AI does a fantastic job. And the most impressive part of it all is that you don't get all those distortions that are so common for tools like this. Typically, when you separate vocals from instruments, you lose some quality on both tracks, you lose some frequencies, which makes the vocals sound strange. With LaLaL AI, it doesn't happen, so I can definitely vouch for it. Another thing content creators do every day is recording voiceovers. Any to speech is a very solid text-to-speech generator. Any to speech, unlike other text-to-speech tools, can also convert PDFs, images, and links to speech, and it even can turn blogs to podcasts which is really impressive. Using it is as simple as you imagine. You just paste the text, pick a voice, and hit one button. There are many voices to choose from, each with its own pronunciation, but when it comes to the quality of generate voices, it's pretty standard. There are not too many voice generators that do a fantastic job at this. Most tools hover around the same level of quality, and any to speech is no exception. Its biggest strength comes from that ability to work with multiple types of files and data that I mentioned earlier. Because if you're a hunt for a free voice generator that does only that, take a look at Listener AI. This one is probably the most straightforward text-to-speech AI generator because to synthesize voice, there are only two things you need to do. Type in the text and choose a voice. No need to confirm anything, Listener AI will automatically generate the speech as soon as you stop typing. It is very convenient. And the quality of that generation is actually pretty good. Listener AI supports over 142 languages such as German, French, Spanish, and 
Hindi. As for the voices, there are many options to choose from, from adult voices to child's voices, male or female. I especially like that even for less popular languages, such as Polish, there are a lot of voices and accents available. The only weakness that I've noticed is pauses. Listener AI isn't particularly good at correctly timing pauses after commas. I'd say they are about 30% longer than they should be, which can make the generated speech sound more fake than it would have sounded otherwise. But aside from that, it's a very worthy tool that does a good job at speed generation and doesn't overburden you with controls. Now, deep fakes. I know this one is more niche and rarely requested, but in its core, it's a very interesting tech. So there's this tool called Deepfakes LOL, love the name by the way, and it's pretty cool. I think it can make a deepfake video only with celebrities or famous people, which on one hand isn't all that useful, but on the other hand, it opens a lot of opportunities for creativity and humor. Just think about your typical video with narration, but the face and voice in the shot are someone else's, and you control everything, make the person say whatever you want, like a puppet. I don't know about you, but I think it would be cool if the next video on this channel was voiced by Elon Musk. The quality of generate videos isn't bad, they obviously look AI made, unless you put a few grainy and noisy filters on top, and apparently the developers behind Deepfakes LOL don't have a huge budget, so their lip simulation isn't as good good as the one we saw with Heijan. But hey, there is always room for improvement. This tool isn't going anywhere and it will only get better with time. So I think if you want to spice up your content and add a pinch of humor to it, Deepfakes LOL is a good place to start. But please don't use it to deceive people. Use it purely for fun. Simple-ish IO is a very simple tool that does only one thing, removes the background from photos. What I like about it is that it's super easy to use. Even without creating an account, I just upload, or in my case, drag and drop the image into it, and wait a bit for AI to do its magic. What's really impressive about this tool is its accuracy. Your typical background remover will miss things like the whiskers on a cat, but Simple-ish IO correctly sees them as a part of a cat and separates them from the background. Even on images with a background that would typically make AI sweat, this one has no problems. And again, it's completely free, which is really helpful because it seems like nowadays, every AI tool out there requires a subscription or a one-time payment. So yeah, Simple-ish IO is pretty cool. Another simple yet effective tool you might need is Big JPEG. Big JPEG is an image upscaler, and at this point you already know everything about it, just like the previous AI tool that I talked about. This tool is also very easy to use. Just drag and drop or upload an image, then click start and check a few checkboxes. Big JPEG lets you choose the image type, whether it's an artwork or a photo, the upscaling level and the power of noise reduction. For free, the highest upscaling you can do is 4x, and I can say that it's more than enough most of the time. You can just always re-upload the upscaled image back into Big JPEG and upscale it once again. And the quality of these upscaled images is really good, especially when you crank up the noise reduction to the max. Sure, it all depends on the image you upload and if the image has a lot of artifacts in it, the upscaler won't fix them, it will just make them less visible and less noticeable. I think it can be a great tool for upscaling assets that you can use in your content, such as stickers or pop-ups. But the best part for me is that with big JPEG, you can actually do some real upscaling without pain, which is once again a rare sight in the world of AI tools. And if you want to know more about AI tools, check out our video about the best image generators. Thanks for watching and see you soon.